you feel like you get lost at uh, big conferences? I sometimes do, where there's so many people to meet and talk to and, and get to know and so many sessions to attend that you get a lot of experience. Don't get me wrong. Some of these big conferences are amazing for what you can learn and from uh, the networking you can do. But sometimes you don't want something a little smaller. Sometimes you want something that uh, where you could actually get to meet everybody at the event. Um, one of these is the Hello Conference. Uh, it's going to be in New Jersey, March 28th, 2019. I'm going to be speaking at it. Katie Robert from Trust Insights will be speaking at it. Mark Schaefer will be speaking at it. And it's going to be one of those great events that is limited to about 100-ish people. So you can't have, you know, 10 or 20 or 30 or 50,000 people uh, just trying to navigate your way around. You'll actually be able to meet everyone who's going to be attending the event. For what I'm going to be sharing at the event, we're going to do something a little different. Most of what I've been talking about lately has been sort of the why and the what of artificial intelligence and machine learning for uh, marketing purposes, for business purposes, how it's going to impact your business. And I want to, uh, for an event like this where there's a chance to sit down with people and actually talk to them and ask questions, interact with people, um, I want to do something a little bit different. So we're going to talk about uh, AI and machine learning, automation and process automation and data science, but focusing a little bit more on some specific ideas for implementation that you can use that at this point, I'm going to assume you're conceptually bought into the idea that machine learning and process automation are good things. But how do you s apply them on a practical level, particularly to digital marketing and, and social media? So let's look at just a, a, a sort of a hint or a teaser of one example and uh, with the promise that if you attend the Hello Conference, we can dig into some of the more some of the details and some other ways that you can adapt this technology to your specific uh, use cases. Uh, one thing that I find uh, is uh, used to be very time consuming with social media was trying to figure out what to share uh, because you don't want to just share yourself. That's not exciting, uh, and nobody likes that. So you have to share other stuff, but. One of the problems with sharing other stuff is that you it's very difficult to measure it, and it's also very difficult to curate it effectively. So one of the things we did at Trust Insights was, because we're a startup and we want to spend our uh, the vast majority of our, our hours uh, serving clients and serving customers and not just you know reading through articles, we built some software that ingests uh, blog feeds from reputable blogs, analyzes them, for key topics uh, and for things like click-throughs uh, as measured by open APIs like Bitly, and then creates social-ready posts that you can load in batch to uh, services like Agora Pulse or Buffer and things like that. So this is an example of what the interface looks like. It's not, <laughs> it's not the world's best interface. Uh, it, this is a SQL database. And in come the articles. They're scored by the uh, by certain specific topics. Uh, is this article about uh, things like Google, or is it about social media, or is it about AI, or is it about IBM? Uh, is it about uh, women and technology? Is it about leadership and strategy? Once we know what an article is about, we score it. And if the the score is above a certain threshold, uh, we then feed it to a link shortener. In this case, the Bitly link shortener, using link retargeting. So this is a concept that not a lot of folks use. Uh, link retargeting allows you to not only track the links that you share on social media, but then also pixel the people who click on those links and be able to show them ads later. And this is a very valuable thing to do because it now takes all that curation and helps you derive uh, value from it, derive, uh, monetize it. If you know, for example, that the links that you share about healthcare uh, or B2B or B2C are uh, resonating with your audience, you can then uh, target those audiences with advertising that says, hey, here's a, a, a new B2B white paper or a new healthcare white paper or a, a video on YouTube or whatever it, it, goals you want to achieve with your social media marketing. You will do that uh, with link retargeting. So if I flip over to my... Uh, my retargeting system here. This is a system I use called Stack Adapt. I'll put a link in the show notes. Uh, if you go to trustinsights.ai slash Stack Adapt, you, uh, you can learn more about the service. And you can see I've got uh, some retargeting audiences for healthcare links, for B2C links, for B2B links. 
and the number of people that have clicked on those links. The last click on a B2B link was four hours ago. Uh, on a B2C link was uh, an hour ago. And there's about 9,000 people uh, from my social media in those audiences. Now, that's four social media specifically people who are clicking on links I share on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, not really on Google+. <laughs> um, and by tracking people who go outbound, who click on somebody else's content, not on my content, but on somebody else's content, like articles from the Washington Post or Digital Trends or Scientific American. I know where people are going, and I know what's of interest, and I know I can target folks with advertising, regardless of whether they follow me, because if an influencer shares a post I publish, uh, I can, st as long as I use the, my link shortener, I can track the clicks on their stuff so you it's a way to, to help expand your reach and your the value of influencer marketing by saying this influencer shared this link but anyone who from the influencer's audience or clicks on that link is enrolled in our in a retargeting audience so this is a very uh, quick glance at what you could learn at the hello conference if you attend now i would encourage you there's a there are two ticket levels. There's an early bird level for just general sessions, and then there's uh, a VIP breakfast, which is is more expensive. But you get a chance to sit down with people like Mark and and people like me, and talk through these very specific situations. Talk through ways to apply these technologies to your business and use cases, and we can demo uh, in a little bit more detail how these things work. So I hope you get a chance to attend the Hello Conference. It's going to be in New Jersey, so it is literally a stone's throw from New York City, uh, probably about 25 minutes driving time from New York. I used to live in New Jersey, so everything's 25 minutes from something. Um, and uh, it'll be March 20th, 2019. Hope to see you there. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.